keeps it himself to the five to the end zone. Touchdown. Coulter now in at quarterback. Pulls it out from Mark and Coulter in for a touchdown. Coulter keeping it right side. He'll take it to the 10. Outside to the five to the end zone. Touchdown. Coulter breaks through a hole. Coulter, touchdown. VTN Live continues. Mike Hall, Chuck Long, and Howard Griffith here. And if you're watching football on Saturday and perhaps you tuned in the Northwestern game, you might have been just as surprised as we were because we didn't know that we'd be seeing Kane Coulter in a completely different role than we did. He joins us now. He's normally the starting QB, but he was one of the best wide receivers you've seen in a long time, one of the best running backs you've seen in a long time. So we were caught off guard, Kane. When did you know that that would be your role? Um, this is something I knew, you know, even before the season began. Something that me and Trevor worked on and uh, the player run practices during the summer. So we knew that we were going to incorporate this in our offense at some time during this year. And it, it just happened to be this week. You know, we didn't want to pull it out too soon. And just this seemed like the perfect opportunity to do it. Hello, Kane, or should I call you do it all, Kane? <laughs> hey, I got a question for you. You played quarterback, wide receiver, and, and running back. First question is, what's your favorite? And have you talked to Coach Fitzgerald about playing a little defense maybe next week? <laughs> um, first thing, uh, I think quarterback is my favorite. It's something I've been playing my whole life. And just being a quarterback, you know, you're able to command the offense. And uh, there's certain, you know, responsibility that comes with it. And that's something that I like. I like, uh, you know, being dependable to my teammates and having them look to me to make a play. But at the same time, you know, playing receiver, playing running back, um, you know, they're all fun and, and you're able to do different things on the field, be able to, you know, showcase different abilities that you have. Kane, I've got to ask you really, though, about the quarterback situation and really the dynamic. How do you guys, you obviously get along well, but why does it work for you two, you and Simeon? I think we just complement each other really well. You know, um, Trevor's able to do some things that maybe, you know, I'm limited at and then I'm able to do some things that Trevor can't do. So. Uh, you know, we're on the, when we're on the field at the same time, uh, you know, we, we complement each other really well, and the offense is able to hit on all cylinders. So, um, you know, we don't really clash in that aspect. And, you know, I feel like, you know, me and Trev have a great relationship. We came in at the same time together. So, you know, he wants to see me succeed, and I want to see the same in him. And, you know, we have all the trust in the world in each other. Mike Hall, Howard Griffith, and Chuck Long here. We're joined by Northwestern Mr. Everything, Kane Coulter. And before we move on, real quick, Kane, so are you saying we should expect to see this from here on out of you and Trevor sort of doing whatever? I think this is just the beginning. I think there's a lot of things that, you know, people can expect. There's a lot of ways we could go with it. So, um, you know, that's really for the coaches to decide and, and their game plan meetings. And, uh, you know, we have a lot of options, uh, a lot of options to do. So, you know, what happens from here, you know, we'll just have to see. I'm not even sure how it's going to go. Another big game this week versus Penn State. How much do you know about this team and have you seen on tape? Yeah, I mean, I just know they're a great football team. You know, they got some great defensive players. You know, their linebacking core is very strong and they have athletes all over the defense. So, you know, it's going to be a tough, a tough team. But, uh, you know, we're, gonna, we're not going to shy away from it. Um, you know, we're, we're confident in our offense, and we're just going to go out there and uh, feel confident in the game plan that the coaches are putting together. So it's our job to just go out there and execute and, you know, let the chips fall where they may. I had a chance to talk with Kenny Bell, who's the Nebraska wide receiver, and he told me how you two were longtime friends from back in your Colorado days, started playing ball together when you guys were six. So initially I was thinking, well, I want to ask you about your relationship with him. But now you guys are both on good teams, and in two weeks, you'll be meeting in what potentially could be a division-deciding game. What would that be like? You know, it's exciting. Uh, you know, I grew up with Kenny ever since, you know, he said, probably since we were five years old, we went to the same schools. And in high school, we actually played on rival schools. So going against him is, is nothing, uh, nothing new, and it's always fun. Uh, you know, you always want to see him do, do good out there, and I'm, I'm sure he wants to see me do good out there. But... You know, it gets competitive out there. So, uh, you know, I know last year when we went to uh, Lincoln, uh, you know, we had a fun time. We got to see him after the game, and it's great. But, um, you know, we both want to win. We're both really competitive people. And, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to that game. But right now, uh, we're focused on Penn State. And when that time comes, uh, you know, it's going to be pretty exciting. Okay, non-football thing now. What do you know about him that we don't know about him? <laughs> Something embarrassing. Oh, I'm not going <laughs> to... 
I'm not gonna put Kenny out yes, on the like that. Yes, you are. I don't think I'm gonna do that, but uh, you know, we, we have some great stories, but uh, I Such think uh, I'm, gonna keep those. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep those to myself. But uh, you know, just know that me and Kenny, we've had uh, some wild times and had a lot of fun together, and uh, you know, it's great to see him and uh, keep in touch as often as we can. Don't you hate it when young men are respectful <laughs> of their friends? I don't like that at all. Kane Coulter, thanks for your time. Congratulations on the nice success this far, and good luck this weekend. All right, thank you guys. Have a great day. So uh, he comes off as a, as a very likable guy, <laughs> but when you listen to, when you break down what he said there about the fact that they just changed their entire offense and he had to go from the starting QB to not, what did you hear in his words? Well, that he clearly still wants to play quarterback, but is willing to do whatever it takes to make this team better. And he embraces that. You also heard him talk about what some of his deficiencies. And you rarely ever hear hmm. young people admit that where someone else could be better than them. And, and it's really evident by this interview why this relationship works between he and Trevor, because they're good friends, they're competitors, but they have respect for what one another can do on the field. I think he's a great young man. I, I'm wondering if he's going to try out for track and baseball <laughs> and basketball, yeah, exactly. too. He, he does it all on the football field. He might as well. What do you think about this for Northwestern this week? Do we see more of the offense we saw last week, or do we see more of what we've seen the first four games? I think you see what they did last week. I yep. think that's their formula now. Hey, I, I'm liking it from just sitting here. I yeah. know they're liking it in that staff room. Yeah, I think it gives them a, a huge advantage. I think one of the things that I want to see this week, though, is that will they still focus in, really, on Kane Coulter when, when Trevor's dropping back? Is he going to focus in on Kane, or will he be able to distribute the football to the other players? On the flip side, Penn State has two things going for them. Matt McGloin, one of my top QBs in the Played league right great. now, and a fast starting Penn State team. I'm all about stats, Mike. Mm -hmm. 49 <laughs> to nothing in the first quarter that Penn State has on their opponents, 76 to 9 in the first half. If they do that against Northwestern, look out, look out Penn State. It's going to be a tough, tough uh, day for Northwestern. What a surprisingly fascinating game this turned out to be with Northwestern being undefeated and Penn State winning their last three in a row. It should be fun.